Frank Saravalli today at Daily Faceoff released a brand new list of trade targets. And there are, sorry, it's not even out at Daily Faceoff yet. That is my bad. But he talked about it on uh, Daily Faceoff Live. Did you just break the news of the uh, well, I mean, Frank Saravalli? It's out there. Articles it's out about there. To drop? Okay, sure. You know what? Here's the breaking news. It's not even up at dailyfaceoff.com. <laughs> and we are giving you Frank Saravalli's brand new top 10 trade targets with exactly two months to go until the NHL trade deadline. Bo Horvat at one, Patrick Kane at two, Jacob Chikorin at three, Meyer and Taves round out the top five. Expected. We've heard about those guys a lot. Klingberg six, Matthias Ekholm seven. How old is Ekholm? Because 32. Oh, man. I like. I love the type of defenseman he is. He's also a bit of a prick too, which he you know, is. we need a little, a little sandpaper in the back end. 32 years old, three more seasons after this one at 6.25 million dollars matthias ekholm would make a lot of sense for this oilers team he is a veteran left shot defense first guy like you said he's a little nasty as well and i like that but i look at the term i look at the contract i look at what it might cost and i kind of go i don't know if you can fit it in because nashville's not keeping half of that no nope. if he was a rental i would say this this guy would vault if he had no more years left he is top spot on my list as their best trade target. Yeah. The term, in my opinion, makes it a non-starter, similar to Verana almost. Yeah, it's it's tough to – how do we – 6.75? For Ekholm, 6.25. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. So that, that is – that's a tough number to try yeah. to manipulate there. But there's, there's, there's always a way. It's just what are you willing to do? Are we, are we actually putting the chips in on the table this year? Because if you are, you figure it out. Why didn't they just move him last year? Like, wasn't Eckholm like the big piece and then they signed him to a four year deal? He's in year one of this four year deal. Crazy. Oh, yeah, it was an extension. Yeah, 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 that's right. Crazy. And honestly, you're right, Liam. Like, it would have made a lot of sense for, I think, David Poyle to just sit there at last year's deadline and say, maybe a little retooling. But I think at that point, they were faced with if you're going to trade Eckholm, then you probably trade Forsberg. Don't try to re sign him. And they felt like going in, they ended up making the playoffs and Saros got hurt. They got bounced in round one. Um, but now the thinking is, and Frank Servali will be on the show tomorrow to discuss all of this. The thinking is we have they have Yossi, McDonough, and Eckholm. Well, you're not moving Yossi and you're not moving McDonough because you just got him. Let's see what Eckholm can get them. They want to offload an expensive D man, maybe get some scoring help. I don't see this as a fit for the Oilers. To me, if he's being moved, it is a, he is a well, fit for the Oilers. On the ice, yes, but contractually, with all the surrounding noise that comes with making a trade like this, I I just don't understand how the Oilers can make it work. If they had an expensive contract up front that was easy to move out, then it would make a lot of sense. But it just can't. I, it just won't happen. Yeah, no, I I I doubt it. I, I highly doubt it. But like that is the archetype of defenseman that we desperately need on our blue line. Blue line. This offseason, I'd be tempted to go get him. If the cap goes up three point some million yep. and you have more wiggle room, then I'd be like, okay. But he'll be on he'll be traded by then. 